beer is really old. It's the oldest beverage made by humans uh, in the world. It used to just be part of running a house. Everyone made beer, or everyone's neighbor made beer. And we don't see why we're not all just making beer. I didn't like beer, but I really liked cooking and liked projects, so when I was home I found my dad's old brewing equipment he brewed about 20 years ago. I uh, hauled it back to Brooklyn, slapped a bow on it, and gave it to Stephen for Christmas because apparently I'm a cheap girlfriend. I guess that makes that me cheap, <laughs> I was pretty happy with it. We were making five gallon batches and we couldn't brew in Erica's apartment because her kitchen was pretty much the size of this couch. One person can brew and the other person can gently applaud in the background. The idea for the one gallon kits really came about because we were shocked that you couldn't find brewing supplies in New York City. And as soon as we made our first batch, we realized why New York didn't have any brewing supply stores. And it was because to do it on a five gallon scale is really big, really messy. So from the start, we tried to figure out a way to scale it down and make it feel more like cooking and something that everyone could do on the stovetop. We were trying to figure out how big you could go while still being small. And the one gallon size seemed really perfect because it worked with stock pots you already had. The other parts didn't exist, so we would hand saw and drill parts from larger kits so that they would work. That was our life for maybe a good half a year, uh, sawing plastic, plastic shavings just everywhere. We started kind of creating this kit for us that kept evolving, and then we got to a point where we realized, like, okay, this, this works. The biggest challenge starting out was just figuring out all these small problems that would arise. We had to learn how to do absolutely everything. So between the two of us and between our three employees, there's zero business classes uh, between any of us. We just had to realize what we were capable of, and even things that we weren't capable of, we had to figure out how to be capable. We live together. We drink coffee together, eat breakfast together, walk to work together. We work facing each other. Our desks are two inches apart. It is hard sometimes, but then you also have that shared knowledge of why your day was so bad. Sure. It's one thing to say like, why are you being so grouchy today? And it's another thing to know exactly why and also feel grouchy yourself because you did the same exact thing. In the end, I can't think of anyone that I'd spend 10 minutes a day with, let alone every moment of every day with, other than Erica. We laughed the other day because we looked at each other and we said, hey, I haven't worked for anyone in a few years. That's pretty great. <laughs> uh, so there's, there's really no, no better feeling than, than being your own boss. My dad was a truck driver and he never worked for anyone, and that was always really important to me. Uh, but he also said that if I wanted to be a truck driver, he'd break my legs. My favorite part of brewing is definitely coming up with these recipes and walking through farmer's markets or spice stores and getting inspired by what's on restaurant menus and then coming back and being like, how do you turn this into a beer? The real fun is kind of just sitting down with a piece of paper and writing down all the beers we want to make. When we're making beer, like the warehouse doesn't matter, our suppliers don't matter, our customers, they don't matter. No, they <laughs> no, still they matter. Don't matter. <laughs> but in the end, in the end, like the only thing that matters when we're making beer is just, you know, us and that pot of oatmeal. And we're just making beer and uh, we don't have to think about about anything else. I can't really think of anything better or just more exciting than making alcohol and giving it to your friends. If you make it at home, it's yours. Uh, no one has ever made the beer that you're going to make. 
and in case of a zombie apocalypse, the bandits are going to let you in because you can make beer. <laughs>